Good afternoon, everybody. So the start of today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different. Um, Peter has his run tonight. He's also recording with Dom, um, the podcast. So we're kind of having a low key night. So we thought that I could do a mini haul per se. Um, but the dresses that I got from a company for Dapper Day. Okay, so bear with me. I do have Eve outside with me. Um, so, I mean, okay, just as I said, bear with me, I have Eve with me. She bit right through her leash. So, I will not be doing this haul outside. Honey, I was naughty. It's not gonna be too long of a haul, so don't worry. Um, I just wanted to give you um, some information about Dapper Day and then just like a quick run through of the outfits. We were, we were going to go no matter what, obviously we live here now so we can go to all the fun events, um, but we actually were reached out to by a company um, who had offered me some free dresses um, for Dapper Day. They like our channel, they'd never worked with anybody before, they'd never sent anyone free dresses, and we really haven't, you know, dove into that um, really much at all, so it was kind of cool that we were also working with, um, with a company that was, you know, starting out and um, just reached out to us so it was really nice so I am I was offered three dresses actually the first one is the one I'm wearing now um, you can see it's like has these cute sleeves um, it has like a different kind of cut in the back so it um, it fits it doesn't like just fall flat um, so they offered me three dresses. So I really only needed the two dresses for the actual event. So I was like, hey, like let's just add this little cute number on it. It'll be nice when um, I go back to Chicago for Violet's baptism. Um, so yeah, it was nice. just a nice fun. It's like really nice quality um, fabric too. I, I really, really, really like it. Um, so most importantly, I guess I should tell you a little bit about who the dresses are from. So the company's name is Grace Karen. Um, they also have, like they're a dress brand. This one is Grace Karen. Um, but they also sell their dresses on through Amazon. So all of the links I'm gonna be giving you are to the, to the Amazon shop. So obviously, um, I had never heard of them before they had reached out to us. I hadn't had any dresses, so I wasn't really sure, you know, what the quality was going to be like and um, all of that. So I'm going to show you guys them and kind of just give you uh, an idea of the dresses, like from my first look. They are much less expensive than other um, vintage inspired shops, I would say. And I was a little bit weary of that at first because I thought that, you know, usually when you pay more, it's better quality, but. So far, everything that I've seen on these dresses looks great. One of the dresses came with a belt. I think for events like Dapper Day, where you might only wear the dress one time, or it's for a very specific Disney bound, um, that it's nice not to break the bank because I was, you know, I, last Dapper Day, we only did Magic Kingdom because we didn't want to go all out um, for two different events. Alrighty, so let's show you the dresses. So this is the first dress. That's actually the back. Um, it has this nice high neckline and this pretty lemon pattern. It's just like your typical swing dress, sleeveless. This is the one that came with the belt. Um, what I was actually happy about is, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to wear the belt or not. Um, so I was like, oh, if it has like the little strings then I'll have to wear it but these aren't like super thick or anything like that. They're just like, I could cut them if I wanted to and just wear the dress plain without the belt. So it's just like really fun and summery and um, the quality of this is like really nice and thick. The zipper looks really sturdy. Like obviously I have not worn it a full day yet, but um, just overall, like you could tell that it's like a substantial dress. It's not, you know, like, gonna stick to my body or anything like that like it's a really nice really nice dress so I think for Disney bounding for this well my first thought was honey lemon from big hero sick because of the lemon but she has like such a particular style that I don't know I don't know so that's a possibility um, the other two ideas that actually Matt gave me 
um, was to do Joy from Inside Out just because of the bright yellow and then do like blue accessories for her hair and then Peter could Disney bound his sadness. Um, or it is also very reminiscent of Ellie from Up and um, it would kind of be cute to be Disney bound Ellie and Carl. So those are my two options. So let me know what you think it fits best. So that is the first dress. Alrighty, so the second dress is this short sleeve blue. Um, again, it's like the same cut dress. This fabric is a little bit stretchier. Like, I feel like I'll definitely need to iron it beforehand. Um, but what's nice about it being light is it's most likely going to be hot out, so that should be nice. Um, this one, that dress, the yellow dress was Grace Karen. Um, this one is called Bell Pogue, is, the, the brand is Bell Pogue. Um, the company that reached out to me, they not only sell the Grace Karen on, on Amazon, they also sell a couple of other um, vintage pinup style dresses um, on Amazon. So when I was looking through the inventory, I really liked this dress because it has, it has this back bow. So it's kind of just like a little added detail in the back. Like I really like these swing dresses, but I wanted it to be a little bit unique. Um, so I, I was really drawn to this one, but then I saw that it wasn't the Grace Karen, and they were like, no, like we also, you know, take care of those too. So, I mean, blue is probably what I have the most of in my closet. So my thoughts for Disney bounding for this was I thought I could do Dory. Um, and maybe do black gloves and yellow accents. Um, and then Peter could be um, Disney bound Marlin or maybe even Crush. And then my other thought was I could Disney bound as Sadness. And Peter already has like the yellow pants from, sorry, Eve's right here, she wants snuggles. Um, he already has the yellow pants when he did the Ray Disney bound for Last Dapper Day. So he could wear them again and he be Joy and I be Sadness. Um, I also thought of maybe doing genie, like doing bangles um, and getting some sort of red accessory and then Peter could maybe, excuse me, maybe Disney around Aladdin or Abu. Um, so yeah, those are my three ideas for the blue. So again, comment and let me know what you think. Alrighty. Okay, so those are my two Dapper Day dresses. I do, like I said, I need, um, Gloves. I have a bunch of different shoes I could wear, so the gloves and um, maybe just some jewelry or pins or something like that that will um, add to the outfit. So that was super nice because, you know, obviously once you know Dapper Day's coming, you want to start planning, and it was just like the perfect timing with this company. Oh, the last thing they did, they threw in something extra, which was so nice, um, which doesn't make a, I mean, it makes a difference. It's a uh, crinoline, so this goes underneath the skirt. Um, and then it makes it a little bit more fluffy, a little bit more, you know, vintage looking. People don't wear things like this. So I did not have one. I actually, I might have like a longer one. Um, and it actually might be still at my mom's. So I didn't have access to it. So this is kind of just like a little touch that'll help my skirt be more twirly um, and poofy the day of. So those are my two dresses. My crinoline. Um, please let me know what you guys think of the Disney Mouse or if you have any other ideas. Um, and also let me know if you're going to be there. Our friend Jordan is going to be in town. Um, we're actually planning a little photo shoot with her. So yeah, that's our dresses. Did you like them? I think so. All right, so I'm downtown. I meant to get some area shots, but there's a lot of construction in Orlando, um, so I couldn't do that while driving, safety first. But I'm over here, I'm about to go over there to Lake Eola, and it's the uh, insurance offices, uh, corporate something, 5K, all the companies in Orlando, a lot of them are making teams, and they're doing a run, so that's what I'm here for. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit around there, and go on this 5K, it's beautiful out, I wish Sarah came down, but you know. She has to do her thing. I gotta do my thing. Gotta get all the stuff done. The run's not till seven o'clock, so I think my company is doing bingo and some other things. I have to go find them because we all drove separately. So uh, I also am wearing the exact same outfit that I wore the other day on the run, but it's been washed. I have a different um, adventure band. So for all you bucket list fans, I got that on.
it was a good run. Um, a little bit slower than usual, but that's because, like most runs, it was like real congested. The first like quarter to a third of a mile, then it broke up. But um, I was running like in and out of the sidewalk, like hop on the sidewalk, hop on the street, hop on the sidewalk to try to get around people. But Michelob Ultra sponsoring this this run, so we're gonna go get a you get a beer with your run. So I'm gonna go get that and hydrate up because if you didn't know, beer is actually good after a run because the carbs and the water that's in it. He's home. I'm home and it's late. It's 9.40, but it's late for not going to a theme park. Oh my gosh, I did not realize it was that late. <laughs> I have to uh, film or record a podcast in 20 minutes with Dom because we can't record on what has become our usual Saturday mornings because we're doing fun stuff that day. And uh, I'm just real hungry. I'm wearing a good 5K. Saw my friends Jill and James. This is what's for dinner. It's like a beamy, chili, chickeny. This is our newest snack and it's delicious and healthy. It's cooked. Garbanzo beans. They're gar like when they're in the can, they're garbanzo beans and then. Really? Yeah. Chickpeas. <laughs> well, they're, it's a can of garbanzo beans. I don't know what I'm eating, but it's good. And I think it's I just like put it, I didn't, Peter's stomach is sensitive to olive oil. So this time I put, <laughs> I put um, vegetable oil and then just like paprika and garlic and salt and pepper and seasoned salt and. Gotta give a shout out to the Orlando Police and Fire Department. Both were running out there, the 5K, uh, full equipment. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was a good run. It was around Lake Yola. You're eating it like a sandwich? No, I'm just doing that so the cheese melts. Ah. I could eat it like a sandwich though. So I might. <laughs> So basically, it's a way of using a potato and not buttering it up and everything. It's like a healthy... Variation. Variation. Well, it was a crazy vlog of a day. Um, I hope I was able to get some good shots during the run. I put them on the computer already. Oh, thank goodness. But it's late, and the puppers are sleepy, and I'm sleepy, and, and Sarah's I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. But tomorrow's the weekend. What are we doing tomorrow? Um, we haven't talked about it. I don't know. We'll see. We just did studio, so I don't know about Phantasmic Friday. We haven't done Epcot. We haven't done Animal Kingdom in a while. I don't know. We'll think about it. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.